Hey guys, Devils here, and welcome back to another Dead Bones one shot. Today, we're looking at My Magical Cosplay Cafe, which, judging from the title, is probably gonna be a Super Animu game again, using a bunch of words, Japanese words that I'm gonna mispronounce or not understand. Just, just fingers crossed that it's not as sexual as the fruit game, because I don't need that. We don't, we don't need that. Those kind of videos up here, even though they are fucking hilarious. All right, so this is girl. Very common name in Japan, just girl. Really? Do you mean it? You'll always be there for me? Uh, that's, I assume this is narration. It's bright. So bright. Like a summer day from a distant past. Oh, this is probably, okay, this is probably the main character, I guess, or the narrator. Uh, I don't know. I promise, I'll always be there for you. The sun is shining. That's probably why it's so bright. Yeah, no, no shit, Sherlock. The sun is very bright. I, just, we're dealing with a fucking high intellect mind here, guys. High intellect mind. The sun is very bright after all. Thank you so much. The girl smiles at me. I think she's smiling at least. I can't see her face at all because she doesn't have one. Oh my god. That'd be great if one of these visual novels actually turned out to be like a horror visual novel. And the twist was that the girl didn't have a face. Like, you should see the back, her back the whole time. Then she turns around and like, no face. I don't know why she go, blah, but <laughs> that's the noise a face this person makes. Just remember, it's a promise, okay? She takes my hand in hers. I feel something, but... That dream again. That girl in my mind is such a blur. I don't even remember if she's real or not. How can you not remember if she's real or not? Oh. I don't even know why I keep that having that dream. Maybe it's my subconscious reminding me that I still don't have a girlfriend. Life is so cruel. So are we dealing with an emo kid again? All right. It's dark. Where am I? I hear someone speaking. Are they talking to me? What's my name again? We get to name him. All right. What's his name? Uh, see, I could just go dead bones. That wouldn't be any fun. We're gonna. Oh God. Okay. I thought it wasn't gonna let me delete it. We're gonna call him, um, um, Butt Scratcher. Butt Scratcher! Wait, how do you spell Scratcher? Butt Scratcher? Scr I think that's right. Oh, right. I'm, <laughs> I'm Hanamono Butt Scratcher. That's my name. Uh, is this the same? Butt, is this the same girl? Uh, Butt Scratcher, wake! <laughs> I shouldn't have named him Butt Scratcher. That's fucking ri stupid. Butt scratcher, wake up! Oh? Hmm. I look up. There's a young girl with blonde hair. She looks mad. Oh god. Okay, look, her name is. Wait, okay, her name is. Re re. Re 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 re. Uh. She needs a different voice. She needs an actual girly voice. I'm probably just gonna give her the Mimi Nozumi style voice. Okay, let me get into character. How did I do the Mimi Nozumi voice again? Uh, Butt Scratcher, how long are you gonna sleep? We have work to do. You have work to do. You have work to do. There we go. Mimi Nozumi, yay! Shit, now I have to go back to his voice. Fuck. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was just taking a break. You were sleeping. This is Riri Chan. She's one of the girls that work, who works at the Magical Cosplay Cafe. I can never figure out when to stop saying her name. Sometimes I get caught in a loop until someone interrupts me. We have customers waiting on food. I hate doing this fucking voice. Uh, she pouts. It's so cute when she pouts. I want to tease her a little bit more. Maybe I can get her to. Cr Maybe I can get her to cry. What kind of fucking sadist is this guy? Maybe I can get her to cry. Yeah, I like it when you cry. Mm, your tears, they taste so good. It's so cute when she cries. Oh, great. Another girl. She's like a priestess? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe Nazumi, you just high pitched. Um. Oh, Hen. Henno. Henno san. Alright. Hello, hello, san. Is the food ready yet? Oh, her voice is just shitty. They can't all be winners. I'm getting there. Sorry for the wait. 
What the fuck? Voices, words. Na na de shiko. Na de shi. Na de shiko. Na de shiko. I'm so glad you came. Brut Scratcher was sleeping on the job again. Ara ara. We can't have that, can we? Sorry, Yamato-san. It won't happen again. I hope not. I hope I don't know how to do her voice. What voice does she have? <laughs> but Scratch, you can't say no to Nan Nadashiko. I bet you have a crush on her, ne? Ne? Ne is not a word. Maybe in Japan. J J Japanese. Jap Japanese. Japanese. God, my words are just gone today. Uh, okay, I don't know if I do not sound right. I think I don't sounds way better. <laughs> I I don't. I don't want to admit that Riri Chan is right, but I guess it's obvious Yamato san is the most perfect, beautiful woman I know. Look at her. Look at this elegant perfection. Those lips, those tiny baby hands. Look how small her hands are. Those are really small hands. I mean, you can see her fingers, but you can assume her hand isn't that much bigger, maybe? I don't know. She's the reason I applied to work at this cafe. I'm just happy to be by her side every day. This guy's kind of a creep. Well, the other, yeah. Although the other girls who work here aren't too bad either. Uh, fuck. I don't remember. Please finish the food quickly. We want repeat customers after all. No problem. Thank you. Ah, that smile. That beautiful smile. I just want to do some nasty, nasty shit to... Okay. Not getting into character. Getting too much into character. He likes her too much. I wish I could admire her beauty a little longer, but I don't want to make her mad again. I look at the orders on the list. Two omelets and a parfait. I'll start the omelets first, then the parfait. I guess I'm a chef? I'm a chef? I break a few eggs into a bowl and beat them. Beat them hard like I would Yamato-san's ripe supple. Okay, bad thoughts. Then I pour them into a hot pan. This is what I do to make omelets, because omelets are made out of eggs. That needed to be stated. Omelets are made out of eggs. <laughs> the eggs cook quickly and I throw the finished omelet on some plates. Plates? Wait. Why does he need plates? Is it that? Is it multiple omelets? Usually if it one... I grab... What? Did he cut the... Oh, no. I grab the plates and head to the counter. Kuro... Her name is Kurokage. She's like a... A gothic chick? Hanna, Hanna... Whoa! Kurokage-san, I didn't see you there. Although I should have, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Obviously. Kurokage-san is always so quiet. I never know when she's around. She's so... Mysterious. Wait, why am I even thinking all of this? I've been working with these girls for weeks. I shouldn't be thinking of introductions to them in my head. That's just weird. Are the omelets done yet? Um, yeah. I hold them up. I hold up both plates. Here they are. Nice and cooked on separate plates for some reason. She takes them without a word and leaves the kitchen. <laughs> the least she could have done was say thanks. That girl is so mysterious. I don't have time to think about her. I don't have time to think about her, though. I have to make a parfait. What the fuck's a parfait? Now we're gonna learn. I open the freezer and pull out the ice cream, but the carton feels super light. When I look inside, I see there's hardly any ice cream left. I scrape as much as I can from the sides and bottom, and there's barely enough to make the parfait. Parfait? Parfu? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Hello, hello, san. Right here. I hand the parfait to Yamato san. I hope she's impressed. Thank you. Thank, thank you? I don't remember the voices. They need to be like really like I can remember the Mimi Nozumi voice because it's like really high pitched. It's like all right, I'll just do that. The other ones is like, eh. yes, I made her happy. More points for me because I'm total fucking creeper. I just hope that no one orders any more parfaits. We're completely out of ice cream now. I thought for sure we had more ice cream. Someone must have eaten it. But who? After the cafe closes, I go into the dining area to talk to the girls. We need to talk. What's wrong, Heno Heno san? Someone ate the last of our ice cream. We almost ran out today. And if we run out of ice cream, I can't make the parfaits. And that I didn't actually explain how to make. I explained how to make the omelets. Because omelets are fucking complex. I mean, they're eggs. You've got to make sure you make them out of eggs. 
A parfait? You, you don't even need to explain how to make that. Anyway, getting off topic. Ara, ara, that's no good. Actually, she's Mexican? I don't... I want to know who did it. I was gonna bang on my desk there, but... Microphone. Don't look at me, I'm on a diet. <laughs> she's referring to herself in the third person. Uh, Alright. Did, we really didn't do it. Ice cream gives me a headache. Well, that's a problem because I didn't eat it either. Are you sure you just didn't forget to stock more ice cream? There was plenty yesterday. Someone ate the ice cream, and I intend to find out who it was. And what would you do once you found out? What's done is done. Why don't you just order more? It's not like anything bad happened. Except, I mean, you almost ran out of ice cream to make parfaits, but you didn't really explain what a fucking parfait was or how to make it, so it doesn't really fucking matter, does it? I'm gonna have to look up how to make parfaits after this. Don't you see? What if things don't work out next time? We just can't let the culprit get away. And besides, I want to make sure that each of you are sticking to your strict no ice cream diet. I'm getting too into this guy. He's, he's a bit of a creep, but I'm making him more of a creep than he is. Eating all that ice cream is the same as stealing, after all. It's not stealing! Narashiko said we could eat whatever we wanted to! It's true, I did say that. But you can't just eat food without restocking. Don't worry, Yamato-san. I'll find the culprit! This isn't a crime drama, you know. Now you're just showing off, butt-scratcher! <laughs> I'm glad I knew- Oh my god, okay. Do we accuse Ririri of eating the ice cream? Do we accuse Kurokage of eating the ice cream? Do we accuse Yamato of eating? We're just gonna break dance. You know that app. That that's the option. That's that's the best option there is. You know what? I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna break dance. Oh! I turn on some music and break it down on the cafe floor. Everyone is staring at me, cause they know I look great. I'm, uh, just gonna go home now, uh, see you tomorrow, maybe, if I don't die of embarrassment on the way out. Yay, we did it. So we got through the first day, nothing bad happened. <sighs> Why do I do these games? Another day working at the Magical Cosplay Cafe. Hmm, I wonder why it's called that anyway. Maybe I should ask Yamato-san about it. It's her cafe, after all. Good morning, Heno heno san Perfect timing! Hey, Yamato-san, you're looking as beautiful as ever. Why, I could just dip you in... something... Uh, my brain isn't giving me words, so we're just gonna click. Ma? Ma? What's that supposed to be? What? Ma, thank you. But you should be focusing on work, ne? Oh, right! Work! That thing I'm supposed to do, because I'm a chef. <laughs> yeah. Yamato-san, I had a question, though. Before we go back to work... Yes? Why do you call this place the Magical Cosplay Cafe? I mean, I've heard some rumors that it's an underground strip club. I don't judge. I'd just like to change my shift to a night shift if it is. Not saying that I'm judging or being creepy. I would just prefer it that way. You, you get what I'm putting down? Oh, that's obvious. What? Now there's magic? Ugh. There's a strong magic concentration in this area. Lots of people here can use magic. Use magic? <laughs> Is that a joke? Because I don't like jokes. Now I'm turning into a schizo- I don't- he's, he's got multiple personality disorder, he's crazy, he does stupid things. Are they gonna use magic on me? Oh my god, alright. Magic time. Not at all. You've never seen magic users around here? Well, no. Hmm, me neither. Maybe I'm just talking up my ass. But it's an interesting thing to think about, isn't it? Hmm, that explanation makes perfect sense. Except it fucking doesn't. Well, time to get started at work. Cooking things. Because that's totally my job here. I get to work cooking busily. Is busily a word? I'm busy, very busy. Lots of food to cook. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Scratcher, I have another. Ah. Yeah. Riri-chan, 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 
Riri-chan. Riri-chan trips as she walks into the kitchen and dishes go tumbling everywhere. Riri-chan is such a klutz. She seems to break dishes all the time. This is getting expensive. Teaser, pick up dishes, break dance! I turn on some music and try to break it down, but I wind up cutting my hands on the broken dishes. But Scratcher, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I stand up and wash all the blood off my hands. Maybe I should leave you alone. I feel like I'm supposed to be like wooing these girls as like a dating sim kind of thing, but the breakdance option, guys. Hello, hello. Whoa, Kurokage-san, I didn't expect to see you that you here. Why not? I work here. I've heard this music before. This was in another visual novel, I think. I've totally heard this music before. Yeah, totally. Anyway. Why not? I work here. Oh yeah, it's just that you surprised me. You're so mysterious. You keep saying that. I think you're just tr trying hard enough. Uh, yeah, I guess. Couldn't you describe me in any other way? <laughs> Tell her she's beautiful. Tell her she's creepy. Break dance. Break it down. I start doing the worm on the kitchen floor. Ow, there are still broken dishes from before. I'm bleeding again. Kurokage-san does not look impressed. I'm not impressed. Yep, she's not impressed. <laughs> this, this game's actually pretty good. <laughs> is that supposed to be some? Is that supposed to be an interpretive dance or something? Um, I'm not sure. Right. Hello, Hana Hana San. Hey, Yamato San, what's up? I just wanted to see what you. I just want to stay at it. I just wanted to see how you were doing. There's a lull in the customers right now, so I came to check on you. Oh, Yamato-san, you really are such an angel worrying about me like this. It's not like I've cut myself repeatedly on broken dishes because I've tried to break dance multiple times. That would be stupid. That was really nice of you. I'm doing fine. What about you? How are you doing? How's your life? How's your love life? Need a man? Because I'm your man. Butt scratcher. Heno heno butt scratcher. Best name in town. I'm feeling tired. Running this cafe is difficult and it's very busy right now. Wait, it's busy right now? She just said there was a lull in the crowd. Is it too much to ask for a little continuity here? It's turned, suddenly turned to Rodney Dangerfield. I don't get no respect. <laughs> uh, tell her to do her best. Offer to do some work for her. Breakdance! I spin in my head. The kitchen floor is very smooth, so it's easy. Eto, maybe you need some time off, Heno Henosan. You've been doing too much cooking. You may go home now if you like. I look around the kitchen. You know, for a chef, I do a surprisingly small amount of cooking and a surprisingly large amount of break dancing. And if they're busy out there, shouldn't I be busy back here too? This story seems like it's falling apart. Oh well, I'm the hero after all. I act don't actually have to do that much real work. Anytime a hero has to do menial work, it's always pushed aside in a musical montage. Whoa, what was that? I run out into the cafe, but no one is there. Ah, oh, excuse me. Where did everyone go? So much air trapped inside my body from all these stupid voices. I run outside to see what's happening. You, sir, stay back! There's a magical battle going on! What? Don't you know this area has magic users in it? Um, I guess so. There's a magical battle going on now, right now between a defender of justice and an agent of darkness. It's dangerous for random bystanders, so if you just go inside and pay no more attention to the crazy, amazing looking battle. I mean, it's so cool, but you should get inside, but it's so cool looking. Ha, <laughs> I'm not a random bystander. I'm a hero. I run down the street in the direction of the explosion. This is my time to shine. I can't find any battle anywhere. Where was the fight? I can't believe I missed it. Out of the corner of my eye, I see someone run into an alley. Maybe it's one of the magic users. I'm about to chase after the person, but I feel if someone is watching me. Maybe I should confront the person who's watching me. I bet they know something about me. I'm worried about the girls, though. Maybe I should go back to the cafe to see if they're okay. Chase person 
after the person in the alley, confront the person following you, return to the cafe, break dance! I think it's time for a dance break! Oh my god, yeah! I start dancing on the sidewalk and soon a crowd gathers. They're all cheering for me. I finally feel accepted. The girls never treated me like this. They never understood. I'm going to quit my job at the Magic Cosplay Camp Cafe and become a full-time breakdancer. It's the only happy ending for me. Breakdancing end. And that's it. That's... That's the end. Oh, it was a Kevin... Okay, it was a Kevin McClough thing. It was a... Uh, uh, I don't know, the royalty free music track that I heard. Built with Rempe. Thanks for, thank you for making the game. Well, that was my magical cosplay cafe. Uh, probably the best thing I've done. He just what I, I actually got a happy ending by breakdancing. I mean, this is the happiest of endings, right? I mean, sure, he could have gotten with one of the three girls or something like that and maybe he could have learned magic or done something cool like that but no he went on to become a professional breakdancer and now you know he's working with Beyonce and stuff now I mean he's happy I'm happy for him uh, we should all be happy for him if you're happy for butt scratcher because that's his name I completely forgot that that's his fucking name if you guys are happy for butt scratcher you mean you should like comment and subscribe and check out all the other cool shit on the channel and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.